A million souls all cry out in fear, pain, terror, and loathing as the spectre of a certain predatory mouse makes itself known in the warp. Warhammer Plus. I don't think you could have picked a title more guaranteed to instill within me a sense of trepidation than that. Now, let's hope and pray that Games Workshop is merely so completely and utterly bankrupt in the originality department that they looked at Disney Plus and simply thought to themselves, yeah, that, but with Warhammer ahead of it. I would be remiss if I didn't point out, by the way, that this is the same company that sued another company called War Banner because they felt that sounded a bit too much like Warhammer. Oh well. Such nonsense is hardly a rarity in this day and age of absolute hypocritical bullshit, but oh well, details. We do not as of yet, let me just make that clear as well, have any indication that this is going to have anything to do with that most monstrous of rodents. And God, I mean, if you thought Marvel was bad, what did Marvel really do? Kill off Manus Kalgar in his own comic? I mean... Yeah, that is that is close to the worst case scenario, but Marvel is like taking a dump over a very, very steep cliff, right? As long as you maintain your balance, it'll be a bit frightening. You'll feel the wind brush against your privates, and you know that if you lose balance, well, you's a dead sir, like Manus Kalgar swiftly figured out as he was replaced by the runt of the litter. But as long as you keep your feet steady on the ground, it's fine. It's just a collaboration. It will pass. The mouse, however, that would be more akin to sitting on your favorite toilet, your porcelain throne. You know it. It's been in your house forever. You have fond memories of this thing, as it has indeed taken your shit for years. And yet now, you know with absolute certainty that a giant flesh-eating monster snake vomiting venom and skin-dripping toxins is making its way through the pipes directly towards where you sit. You don't know where it's gonna get there. You don't know how violent it's gonna be when it arrives, but you know it's gonna be bad. That's Disney Plus. <sighs> right, let's uh, move on from the worst case scenario and instead discuss a little bit more what we know for sure, and there isn't a whole lot. There are several animation projects, we got to see tiny little snippets of most of them, which is a hint disappointing considering how long most of these has actually been in production, or well, actually most of these probably isn't, but a couple of them. And then there is this right here. Right, so they mentioned first that the shows, etc., will be available on any device you want, your favorite device, thanks to a bespoke app created by a big name in VOD content. That is worryingly vague. Um, Games Workshop, are you worried about our reaction if you reveal the name of your partner in this? Because if you are, <laughs> that scares me a great deal. <clears throat> Especially considering Games Workshop's track record in app development is... Oh, oy, let's not even get into that particular stinking mess. In fact, I might have almost preferred Disney at that point. At least their stuff kinda works occasionally. And then there's this. Of course, One and Plus will offer far more than these animations. The full lineup and awesome subscriber benefits will blow your socks off. So we have here an app and a subscriber system. That sounds an awful lot to me like there's going to be some kind of paid service here. Not guarantees, of course, this is cold hard speculation, but why would you make an app whose, in this case, primary purpose would be to give you access to animations, right? Well, you could do that via your website or even better, YouTube. But then you start thinking, they took all of the fan animations of YouTube, which sounds absurd because you're now taking a potential audience of millions, if not billions of people, and you're slicing that off to maybe a couple of thousands, if your piece of shit website can even handle that. And considering that my email campaign apparently crashed their service. <laughs> 
I highly doubt it. And now you're putting it in an app. Even, basically, you're taking a percentile off a percentile. Right, the only reason you'd be doing that is if you're going to be paywalling it, isn't it? So now we're in a position where they are making a for-profit system out of these animations. How predatory they're going to be about it? We have no idea yet. Maybe they'd go so far as to gateway individual episodes between behind paywalls. Maybe individual series will be paywalled. We don't know yet. It's all speculation as of now. But I see no other reason why you would put this on an app. It seems very, very strange. And now, of course, a lot more makes sense as well. They've been snapping up content creators left, right and centre, occasionally with some rather underhanded tactics as well, as we know from some of the creators that there's, they've approached them in quite friendly, oh, we love your stuff, this is awesome, wanna, wanna work with us, can we get some kind of collaboration going? And also occasional hints. You know, this this might be copyrighted content. We can we can work together though, so we don't have to strike you. That kind of scummy tactics. And that would make a lot of sense now, because the thing here is, these are fan animations on YouTube, uploaded not for profit, but simply because people loved making these things. Well, now Games Workshop is directly in that field. They are creating an animation product. Meaning that technically those fan animations are now in direct competition with the Games Workshop application. Why is that important? Because that means that they now have not only a legitimate reason, but in fact a they have to strike them now. They have to copyright strike them. A lot of people don't realize this, but the copyright system only works so long as you are protecting it. If you are not protecting your, your copyright by striking down people who are infringing upon it, quote unquote, then you will weaken your copyright. And if you weaken it sufficiently, then you might copyright strike someone and then might say, no, I'll take you to court and then make the argument, you are not protecting your copyright. These things here are not stricken. You haven't stricken them, you are not showing any shine of striking them, etc. Therefore, you are not carrying out your duty as the copyright holder. This opens up a whole can of legalistic worms right here, because if they know about these, they know that there's fan animations on YouTube. They haven't signed all of them, and now that they are in direct competition with them, yeah, that's that's a problem. That could be a very large problem, in fact. Games Workshop is already lawsuit happy enough, thank you very much. We also now get, of course, a for-profit, potentially, bearing in mind, theoretical, etc., system here. Originally, when they snapped up these creators, I was kind of like, okay, you know, I can see the positive in this, because Games Workshop needs the passion, they need the interest, the genuine burn and drive from people who make this shit for fun, honestly, who just love the universe so much they want to create content for it. And so long as Games Workshop were happy to just let them do whatever they wanted, cool, that could produce some awesome stuff. It might actually be entirely beneficial. But now it might just be a purely for-profit thing carried out on a large corporate scale. That sounds exactly like the kind of stuff that an ex-Hasbro executive, recently hired by a Games Workshop, might come up with. And if there was, like, let me put it like this, there was a tiny, minuscule, atomic chance that these content creators would be continued to, would be allowed to continue to maintain full creative control over their projects, projects, in a corporate structure to begin with. Now that this is a purely for-profit thing, potentially, bearing in mind, that chance has fallen to zero. No chance, in my opinion. If the company is out there just to make money, they will focus group this shit. They will test it, they will narrow it down, they will go for the lowest common denominator like every other bloody streaming service out there with this. <sighs> I don't have a whole lot of hope for that. I hope I'm wrong. I pray I'm wrong. 
but I do not like this. Because again, this, this is such, this is exactly the kind of corporate bullshit I was afraid of when they hired that Hasbro executive. It was a dude who has no idea how the hobby works, has, n has no passion for it, no love, no interest in Warhammer at all, coming in and running it like a corporation, like a massive soulless toy company. <sighs> mm. I'm like, I don't want to be so Debbie Downer on this because on the, I mean, it's on the one hand, it is potentially great. This could be a lot of really, really cool shit. But if it's behind a paywall, I, I just don't see how that's gonna, I don't think that'll allow the creators to maintain control. Which means we're going to see the usual downward spiral. We are going to see the creators' original visions be crushed and crippled beneath the weight of corporatist demands. We have seen this again and again and again in every single bloody franchise that has gone mainstream. We have yet to see an exception to that rule. Will Warhammer be it? God, I hope so. I'd like to also point out here, because it is very much so thematic, I do have a second channel where I've talked about stuff like gatekeeping. That is the only way you can maintain quality is by yelling at these companies when they make a mistake. Now, Warhammer's official YouTube channel has already turned its comments off, which tells you everything you need to know about how they're probably going to approach any feedback on this. It might even be too late already, but all I'm going to say is if you don't, make your opinions heard and don't get me wrong either right now we don't know anything wait for the full reveal on the 23rd i believe of what is it july just double check double check 23rd of june yes there you go good i double checked to make uh, to make it clear maybe it's a free app maybe it's open for everyone maybe it's simply supposedly a way to deliver it easier to more people and more devices let's hope I've been Arch. Thank you all very much for watching, and I hope to see you all again soon. Have a good day.